Hello guys, Tati here. Welcome to a new video. I have a lot of shit to talk about. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this because it's been a long time since I've been in front of a camera. This past couple months have been fucking crazy. Crazy. Um, but anyway, before we go into that, uh, by the time I'm recording this, there's only like three weeks left of my England stay. Um, I'm gonna be going back to Portugal in like three weeks and a couple days. Uh, my partner's coming with me, staying in Portugal for a couple weeks, um, enjoying the summer, probably going to the beach, hopefully. Because even though we had some really nice days here in England with plenty of sun and hotness, uh, right now it's raining and it's depressing and I hate it. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm quite depressed because um, I don't want to leave, you know. Uh, we have our life here, our house, our like everything is here. Um, but I gotta go back until we figure something out, uh, like a permanent solution. So we're working on it. Uh, so hopefully that will be done soon. Um, I do miss my family though. I miss them a lot and I miss my cats as well. And I can't wait to see all of them and I can't wait to squeeze my cats. <laughs> um, I hope they still recognize me. Uh, I miss them so much, uh, but I am going to miss this place a lot. Um, and I can't wait to be back, which probably will happen in January. Yeah. Um, anyway, I want to explain to you guys, if you saw my last update video, you know there was some drama going on, but that's all solved, that's all good, there's no, bla there's no bad blood over there. Um, but just a couple, I want to say a couple months ago, uh, my dad was in the hospital. And that was a tough thing to go through. Uh, he had some kind of infection in his lungs. Uh, they have to drain liquid and pus out of it. So he had a bunch of tubes through his back and through his um, uh, ribs to try to drain all of it out. Uh, it wasn't working. Like they drained some, but there was still some in there that they couldn't get to. So he had to have surgery. Uh, surgery went well, but they still couldn't get everything out because some of it was really, really dry. Um, and they didn't want to damage the lungs. So after the surgery, he had to stay there for a, a few days more to try to drain as much as they could. Um, so now he's home and he's doing physiotherapy, you know, some exercises to help him, you know, get to the place he was before, before all this shit happened. So, and then, um, just last, I want to say last month, um, my partner wasn't feeling very well. She was having some pains. She's always had some problem with acid reflux. And so we thought that's what it was. At some point we thought that it could have been anxiety pains because she gets them sometimes because she completely stopped taking her anxiety pills when you're supposed to like stop taking them little by little. She just cold turkey. And so, um, we decided to go to a doctor. She was also having some weird itchiness on her body. So we decided to go to a doctor and, um, he decided to do a blood test and it came out that the, the levels in her liver were, were really, really high, like high, uh, dangerously high. Um, so now she's doing scans. She did a scan yesterday. Uh, by the way. When we talked to the doctor after we had the blood test results and we talked to the doctor, she was like, oh yeah, I'm going to send you right away to the hospital uh, unless, you know, I can feel your tummy and see if you have any pains. Otherwise, I'm just going to refer you to it. She, like They were talking about like this was something very, very bad, which I believe it's something bad, you know. It's not normal to have your level so high in your liver. Uh, but the way she was talking is like, I don't want to scare you. But then... She examined my partner and stuff. She had no pain. She was completely fine. She, the only pain she had were just the the acid reflux pains that she normally has. Um, and she was saying, like, I don't want to scare you and stuff like that. And then she's like, okay, I'm just going to refer you to the hospital since you don't have any pains. And uh, it's been, what, two weeks? If if this is something urgent, it's been two weeks, and only yesterday, she went to do her uh, her scan. Only yesterday, and today, 
uh, she was also supposed to have done another test yesterday at 2 p.m., um, which was an MRI. And they called her and be like, oh, we're canceling because we have to move a lot of people around. We're canceling for today. Come in tomorrow. So today, um, she just went a couple hours ago. She just left to go to do the MRI. I mean, I mean, if it's something so serious, you making people wait two, three weeks to fucking do it? Come on. It's it's ridiculous. It, it's been a roller coaster this past couple months, like I said. But hopefully everything's okay and she just needs to, um, you know, take some medication to help with this and, and start like a clean diet. Um, because we do eat a lot of shit and we shouldn't. Um, like I feel really, really bad whenever I fucking just eat garbage. So it's not good for you. And so I think she just needs, you know, a hope. You know, obviously some medication to help out with whatever's going on. But I also think that some eat, like, cleaning, uh, cleaning, what the fuck? Eating clean is going to help a lot. So no sodas, no shit like that. So, yeah, guys. So that's what's been going on lately. And, uh, you know, the last thing that's been on my mind really is making videos for YouTube. Even though I did promise. Uh, the good news is... Um, I already found some videos. I did click through. I didn't watch them. I did not watch them. I clicked through just to make sure that most of the PSAs I haven't seen before. And it seems that we're on a clear. And I, I haven't seen the PSAs at all from those videos. So I already have those videos ready to uh, for me to react to. But I think, I think I'm going to wait until I get home. I don't know, though, because I wanted to do it with my partner, but I think I just might wait uh, until I get home because I do have my setup ready to go there. And she could do still do it with me because she's still staying in Portugal for like a couple weeks. So, but yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, now, uh, you know, even the, if these two things were really, really bad, which they were and they are, uh, I still want to say that I, I had a blast being here. Um, I, I love this place. Like, this is our house, you know, this is our life. Um, and, you know, this is our independence and it just feels good and I love it. And I'm going to miss this a lot. I've been having, like I said, lots of fun. Lots and lots and lots of fun. So we had some really, really good times here. Um, a lot more than the last time I was here. Last time I was here was really good. But we didn't do much. This time was awesome, though. So before I leave, though, I, I want to I wanna go out with a couple friends of ours and uh, just go out with a bang. I want to go out and drink. She can't drink because she has problems with the liver, so no drinking for her. But she can still dance and headbang. Like, she knows this uh, bar where everything they play is, like, metal music. Uh, like, I was... I went there last time I was here and... God, I love that everybody on the dance floor just head banging like crazy listening to Slipknot was just, oh man, what the energy is crazy. So I want to go out with the bang and I want to get drunk. Um, and yeah, just want to, you know, have some fun before I go. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what's been going on. I'm not going to make this video any longer. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys have been doing fine. And I wanted to thank all of you for... Because I've seen a lot of comments saying, take your time. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that you guys understand that, you know, um, some things just can't be rushed. <laughs> so I want to make this YouTube thing work. Um, and I I know I need to grind nonstop for it. Um, and I do intend to do that, but like I said, with all this shit happening, the last thing on my mind was just making videos for YouTube. Um, I need to be here for my dad, and I need to be, you know, here for my partner right now um, and help her recover. So, yeah. Um, I was going to say something else, and I completely forgot. Completely, like, disappeared out of my mind. Um, but yeah, like I said, just want to thank you guys so, so much. Um, I do have, I really have like a really, really small community here, but, uh, I wouldn't trade you guys for anything because you guys are amazing. So you really are. Um, 
been having a lot more comments lately on the, a lot of my PSA reactions. You guys really love those. I wonder if you guys would be up for me reacting to some scary TikToks or st stuff like that because there's some really creepy shit like going on or some like, um, I forgot the name, but it's like real uh, life, real life cases like uh murderers and shit like that so on tiktok like they talk about um some creepy murderers serial killers and shit so i wonder if you guys would be up for that um and yes i'm a morbid person and yes that's the stuff i'm really interested in um uh, just scary shit morbid shit and uh, i know i mean someone called me a sociopath i think it was me or maybe my partner because we were both reacting on that video someone called me a sociopath <laughs> on one of my videos i don't know why she thinks that's uh that is offensive to me um i mean why are you on this channel anyway i don't know why people feel the need to comment stuff like that but it doesn't offend me at all um i am a messed up individual i always have said it so um yeah, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, any links that you guys have for any ideas of videos that I can react to when I go home, you guys let me know down in the comments. Um, and yeah, going to get out of here and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.